All right, folks, we're here in Taylor, Texas. This is where the slaughterhouse scenes were filmed. So let's go inside and take a look. What's that disease free still doing out here? We close for good now. Uh, I think he likes it here, sir. Ain't no reason for that ugly beast to still be here. A lot of nice folks out here, man. I love them. Um, one guy was like, is that your truck? He really liked my truck, man. I was like, yeah. Said I just got it on Monday. Um, but yeah, we're here in Taylor, Texas. And we're about ready to see the scene where uh, she was just running around in the back. About ready to get chopped up. Y'all like that? You dig it? All right, but that's enough with my truck. Personally, the 2003 and 2006 remakes are one of my favorites. I know a lot of people beg to differ. I mean, I love the 1974 original one and all those, but I, I, I'm a sucker for, you know, rebooting things and, and making it better and changing it up. I know a lot of people don't like that, but I'm, I'm that kind of guy. So when they made the 2003 and the 2006 remake, to me, those were great. I love them. I could watch those ones over and over and over. You just get on home now, okay? You gotta go, I said. You gotta get the hell out of here, you dumb animal! Now, the 2022 Netflix ones. I'm, I hate to be the, the bearer of bad news. The kill scenes were phenomenal. I loved them. Brutal, gruesome, gory. Leatherface looked absolutely stunning. Man, he was great. And the blood scenes, and oh my God, they just made him really cool. But the story was not there. What the hell are you still doing here? Go well, home, we're out of business. You and your family the only ones stupid enough to still be living in this town. You're kind of along in this shithole. Yeah, I didn't even know that they were um, trying to do like the Halloween kill with uh, Jamie Lee Curtis coming back all these years later to try to just finish it off. I did not know that, that they were gonna do that with this new remake. I didn't buy it, man. I, it, I, I, I didn't know. I just watched the movie and I was like, oh my God, this is like Halloween Kills. But it just didn't work. Okay, and the storyline and everything else just did not work. So, I mean, I, I have to give this one a thumbs down. And I love Texas Chainsaw Massacre, so don't stop. Keep them coming. But just not this Netflix one. It, wasn't, it didn't work for me. With that being said, Here's where she ran through, right here, the cattle run right here. We'll kind of walk down here, take a look. Hopefully there's no snakes. We're in, we're in winter time right now, but you never know. Or these Texas uh, fire ants, man, they, they, they tack at wheel. They always alive. It's like they don't die. They're like Leatherface, man. 40 years later or 50 years later, they keep coming back. But this is really cool, man. I like this. It's pretty eerie. I can't believe it's still here. You know, most times movie scenes and sets are taken down, but this this is just good old urban exploration, decaying, and all that good stuff. But yeah, that's where she started off, and they get slaughtered up in here. She's running like this. Wow! I would reenact it, man. Um, but if you want to check out Dark Dimensions haunted house he, he he did that he did this and uh i don't i don't think it was his wife or i'm not sure if it was a kid or friend but she she ran and did the the scene remake but i'll clip some stuff in here anyways from the movie it's pretty scary nonetheless so look at this 
and we're not too far from Granger for that uh, you know where the house was and all that good stuff and we're on our way there too so this is pretty cool I don't know if I should go in there it's not that I really need to but we should go around this way we'll take a peek man there could be a dead body in there you never know <laughs> well yeah I mean, this looks good. With this new remake, not one bit was filmed here in the United States. So there is no searching for film locations for that one. Well, I mean, there is, but it's in Bulgaria. So yeah, they built, <laughs> They, they did a Texas Chainsaw Massacre in Bulgaria and used Harlow, Texas. Ah, go figure, man. <laughs> That's why they didn't do show too many scenes because of, of uh, natural, you know, trees and fields and corn husks. And it was more of a little small town in Harlow that uh, that was really based off of. With that being said, this part of this trip is almost done, and we're almost to the house itself, in which I've done in the past. <laughs> and there she goes up inside there. Leatherface wasn't too happy with his boss up in here and took him out with a hammer. I believe it was a hammer. Yep, because he was going to get laid off. He was a hardworking man, though, in that movie. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't want to. He didn't want to stop working. He wanted to keep working, man. I love those ones. I know people are going to bash me for that one. No, there's nothing more. You know, the, the original is always better. Yeah, the original was good, man, but it was old. You know? I like fresh new things. It's like having an old car, you know? It breaks down, just doesn't have that same feel, and then you get something new, and it's still a car, but it's new, and it feels better. Got another spider web on me. So this is Brian from Spooky Later signing out from Taylor, Texas, right over there. It says, welcome to Taylor, Texas. And this is where a leather face was working. He should apply again. He's still alive. Oh my God, I got spider webs all over me. You see them flying right there? They're all on my neck and everything. Anyways, this is my new truck, folks. If you wanna see it, you see that? The eyes are supposed to reflect. Let's see if I can get the light to shine right on that sticker. Nah, it's not doing it. But if a light hit, hits it, it'd be reflecting. But yeah, this is my new baby. It's a 2019, I bought it used. I never really buy new new cars, I buy used cars. So then it just broken in. But yeah, I'm riding in style. All right, let's head to Granger, Texas.